can tell more about uh, Kanchenjunga National Park. This Kanchenjunga National Park uh, right now it became a national, uh, international heritage, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, in our mound, uh, this Kanchenjunga, it is treated as a, what you say, it's a worship place, Kanchenjunga has. And it's very beautiful and there are many lakes are there and many glaciers, flora and fauna, river and orchids, snow leopard, all the rare animals are uh, inside this Kanchenjunga National Park. And this Kanchenjunga National Park uh, is uh, just near to our place and travelers used to come here to explore this place. So bird watching is really big enough? Yeah. Bird watching is a good activity for tourists. And here in Sikkim, uh, many uh, mountain birds and some migratory birds from plane and planes also they used to come here. So uh, these days, many people are uh, becoming a bird lovers or the birders. They used to come here and they are getting more birds. They are exploring more birds inside our forest. And about this cultural trait, like I mean, uh, what kind of tests are used, like how difficult is it, like can it sustain you, how much to eat, what recommendations can you suggest? Even about three years. This Bozhala trek is inside Kanjana Park, so it's almost 45 km one way and the road is 90 km. And it's quite the Gotella Surf is quite famous all over the trekking uh, faculty, especially in adventure. So uh, it's a it's said that it's a difficult trek, but it's um, it's difficult trek. But now it becomes not difficult because all the gadgets, all the gears, whatever for uh, required uh, trekking equipment, we will get from everywhere. So those days are gone. Now you can get every uh, gears for trekking and it's not difficult we organize everything uh, here in the mount mountain through travel agents and some trek organizers and uh, th these days many casual people are also coming some uh, fat people are also coming yeah I see. just they do their homework just walking some uh, what you call some workouts they need to do before going to the trekking. So it's not hard, it's beginning. Uh, in general, like, I mean, uh, people have this question about Northeast, like what languages do you speak? Right? So uh, can you just tell me, uh, because people have some misconception like the language they yeah. really don't understand. Uh, um, like the food also. Uh, yeah. uh, regarding language and food, uh, North, North India, Northeast India have many diversity many languages but they speak English also India also there is no any uh, problem regarding the language. and regarding food yes we our people used to eat uh, many wild foods many local foods also but these days they our people have uh, some foods uh, which are quite uh, common to the travel so I must say that regarding language and food, it's not a big issue. So people can manage with English in the sure, sure. of uh, other languages. Other languages. Even food like if people have uh, like vegetarian preferences where they, where they don't have problems. Yeah, no problem. Many homestays, hotels, uh, restaurants are nowadays serve, serving uh, vegetarian and organic foods also. Ah, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, maybe I think we talked about the uh, safety and a uh, lot of other things we have about this high chain, the kind of uh, uh, roads available to uh, I mean, uh, is it like uh, people live in the forest or there are proper rooms or sanitation facilities? Or uh, our place is uh, less population and more big constructions here. So our place is clean. and. Uh, the toilet regarding this uh, washroom facilities nowadays is modern and uh, here, here we have uh, modern facilities with uh, 
uh, European can. Some good uh, places have even washrooms with bathtubs also. It's not an issue with uh, problem with this uh, washroom facility. So regarding cleanliness, it's uh, amazing here. And regarding this uh, washroom also, we have good washroom here. Yeah. Thank you. So I think uh, we got all the details about the and uh, what, what kind of activities do you generally encourage and uh, do here as a student? Do you find what is the plan? Uh, for travelers, especially visiting uh, notice here, uh, number one is trekking. You can trek in a mountain. Uh, we have some uh, fixed itineraries or some destinations to explore them. And secondly, they can do two. Some lakes, some mountains, some beautiful places. And thirdly, cultural uh, tour also. So visiting some monasteries, some temples. And thirdly, uh, we can do bird watching, like explore the nature, with animal watching, bird birding. And for kids also, we have some activities like survival uh, training and some uh, some life skill. Uh, some training, some creative uh, works, like this. and we do some uh, trainings on uh, waste management system, also, zero waste management. And actually, uh, kids for kids, uh, it's more interesting. They don't know how to cook. They don't know where potato grows, whether it grows in a tray or in a root, uh, where to sow in a field. Actually, our state is an organic state, yeah. so we can show them in a practical way so that they can know the things better. So, uh, minimum how many days do you recommend like, people are planning to visit the planet uh, like I'm from basically from Bangalore. So people have the notion like in the office looks very small, like people, a lot of places around. So minimum, how many days do you recommend? Uh, how many uh, weeks probably to this transport? Like recent idea. Uh, at least a state at one time. Uh, yeah. Our nearest airport is Bangalore Airport, and the uh, railway station is New Jalpaiguri, NJP station. And the road transportation is uh, good here right now. All roads are a good condition. And uh, to come and go, it takes two days. And if you stay for uh, 10 days, it will be better. You can do trekking also, you can do a tour also, you can do some, some activities. And you can explore the villages also. You can explore some lakes, some waterfalls, and some forest also. And actually, Northeast India have some direct uh, culture also, and big. Uh, you can explore the nature also, like this. So, uh, so you would uh, recommend like uh, people take at least uh, ten, days. ten days or two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, uh, minimum ten days. Okay. Uh, at least that's a good job. Yeah. I think Northeast India is quite far from the big metropolitan cities. So if you come once, then you can explore all the countries. So, finally, what do you want to mention about the Uh I want to say that how many explore our, our Northeast India is a beautiful place. Our, our, you can come in our.